up, he's my buddy, his name is Patrick Cadigan! I want a fucking lollipop? What is that? A hippopotamus. Oh, a hippopotamus. Okay, Jesus. I didn't realize we had a lot of fucking really hardcore hippopotamus fans in here. I'm going to have to switch up my act a little bit. Hope that's okay. Guys, keep it going for everyone. Everyone you've seen tonight. Holly. Paul Marino with the man bun on top. Would it surprise you to know that man has a fanny pack? It would not. Can't answer that for you. Who was that? Anybody got time for that? That's right. Santana, Paul Marino, killing it. That's the most dressed up I've ever seen either one of those guys, for the record. I didn't know they owned suit coats. When I showed up in one, I was like, well, fuck me. They look way better than I do. I got a hoodie on. It's great. Not bad. For charity, guys. It's all for charity. I'm not a huge fan of the wild. I'm just gonna say it. I've never been there. For sure, I don't like it. Just based off of movies alone, all the movies about it, doesn't seem that great. Wild, for one. Into the wild. Jumanji. Yeah. All predatory. Wild. Not good. Deliverance. Deliverance, that's another one. We can go all day, guys. Who else has one? Back Jurassic Park, Park, not technically the wild. <laughs> Control. <laughs> Brokeback Mountain. Okay, Brokeback Mountain. Kind of a friendly wild story. Depending <laughs> on which side of the room you're on. <laughs> right or left. It's okay, guys. We don't have to keep going. We can if you want, and I can tell some jokes if you want. Yeah! All right. The wild is great. It's all for charity. It's for charity. Charity's great. I'm so glad we're out here donating to charity, giving to charity, everything. It's awesome. Charity, I find, is kind of like going to the doctor, you know? It's like, you're supposed to do it, but if you don't, like, everything's going to be fine, you know? <laughs> Pretty sure everything will be okay. Sometimes better. Sometimes better, that's right. Charity stuff. It is. It's tough to find a good charity, though, you know? There's so many. Did you know that in the U.S. there's like 1.4 million charities? That's a fucking so many charities. That's too, too many. I didn't know there were that many issues. But there are. There's that many issues. It's impossible. We're never going to solve them. We're not, right? There's just too many. Too many greedy people, that's right. Greedy people like you and me. Because guess what? I didn't donate shit. I'm just telling jokes. It's great. It's tough picking a charity, though, you know? It's so difficult. There's just too many. It's impossible. I feel like there should be an incentive for charity. <laughs> Hear me out. All I'm saying is, if I donate five bucks to fight cancer, and they cure cancer, I should get, like, a little treat. Yeah. <laughs> I contributed. Not a big treat, because that's a big charity. Small charities, those are your big treats. Okay? <laughs> big charity, fight cancer, you get like a little chocolate. Thank you for donating, I appreciate it. Small, like mesothelioma, you donate to that and they cure that shit, you are set for life. You get paid. It's great. Stuff. Charity's difficult. It's difficult to find which charity to give to. I'm always, I'm not sure who to give to, why to give to. Yesterday I was sitting in traffic, I saw a license plate that said end AIDS. I was like, that's a nice gesture, but when I'm sitting in traffic is when I'm feeling least charitable. <laughs> like, end AIDS? You just cut me off. I hope you have AIDS. <laughs> I hope wherever you're going, they are AIDS free. And it's like an AIDS potluck type situation. And there's macaroni salad, Brussels sprouts, and Jeffrey brought AIDS. <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> Charity is difficult. I know, guys. Strap in. It's going to get a whole lot worse. I apologize already. If you're offended, please come see me after the show so we can talk about it. 
You know, we'll see. Apparently, we're not supposed to use straws anymore. Oh, I do. There's no, there's not one straw in this whole room. Look at your drinks. No fucking straws. You have a straw? Did you ask for a straw? Did they give you a look of judgment? No. Do you, dude, I go to Starbucks last week. I went in. I had to ask for a straw. You get that look of judgment. You ask for a straw, they look at you like you just took a shit on the counter. <laughs> Concerned the environment. Fucking A rights, you and me, let's hang. <laughs> it's true. Guys, there's no straws in LA. There's none. Do you know how difficult it is to ban straws in a city run by cold brew and cocaine? <laughs> you get the paper ones, they're not the same. They're not the same, it's like you're drinking coffee like you're improvising, right? It's horrible. It's not the same thing, it's just not. It's not the same thing. It's not practical. It's not practical. You know what? We got another mic up here. Why don't you hop on? <laughs> There's two. I think you might be a little short for this mic, though. It's okay. No, I'm sorry. Keep buying drinks. Keep donating, guys. The lines are open to donate. It can be done. But for real, I appreciate you guys coming out. Let's see. Thank you. Yeah. I just found out last week that LGBTQ is not a charity. <laughs> Tried to donate to it. Had a gay friend, gave him five bucks. He was like, that's not how it works. <laughs> Didn't work like that. He was like, you just missed out on five bucks. <laughs> that was my five bucks. <laughs> Good. He's actually, he's actually not gay, so in fairness, his name is Jack Kelly, he is transgender, his name used to be Jacqueline Kelly, which, by the way, real fucking original, you know, like, come up with a real new name, that's great. What? I didn't say I don't like his life choices, but, you know, mix it up. You got all your names, you're just gonna pick the same one? Okay, guys, cold room, let's go. It's gonna get worse. Here we go, here it comes. Here's my only problem with Jack. We were in the locker room the other day. Pulls down his pants and I was frustrated to see that his dick was bigger than mine. Which, if you're following along, is cheating. You don't get to pick your dick. Absolutely not. You should have to spin a wheel or something, you know? You spin it, you don't get to pick it. I was even more pissed because right before he had the operation, he asked me how big my dick was. So now he knows for a fact that he has a bigger dick than I do. I'm in a relationship now, but we used to go out, we would go out and I'd be like talking to someone, he'd swoop in and he's like, listen, hon, I know for a fact he's a tiny little dick. Mine's bigger than that, so why don't, you, why don't we saddle up here? It's good. Jack Kelly. Let's see. <laughs> Who else can we offend in the room tonight? <laughs> Sex is hard. It is. Does anyone disagree? No. Paper straw guy does. <laughs> he lays paper straw pipe. <laughs> Sex is hard, guys. It is. It's hard for guys. I know it's really hard for women, but it's hard for guys. It's especially hard now because we're not just competing with other guys. We are competing with uh, female sex toys. These things have reached a whole new level, and if you're not with me, don't worry, I'm gonna educate you. They got like hooks and ridges and talons and shit. Male sex toys, all they're trying to do is make a vagina, right? Women are re-engineering the human body. I saw one with a subwoofer on it last week. What the fuck is that? It's pleasure, that's what it is. It's unfortunate, but I'm trying to push back against it. I am in a relationship, my girlfriend just got one of those. She came into the living room one day and she was like, do we have any D batteries? And I was like, okay, here's my moment. She's like, I got your D battery right here. I know you're with me. She said, no, I need one that lasts. The top shelf. D batteries in the top shelf. I just got this. It's tough, it's horrible, she's mean. She's here. Give it up for her, guys. Yeah. Oh, God, that's sick I know, horrible. She's mean, but I attracted two mean people. I'm from Boston. We got any other East Coasters in here? Yeah! Hi! Right. Give it up for not talking about feelings, right? We hate feelings on the East Coast. We hate it. 
It's horrible, right? But people don't talk about feelings, that's why they're called feelings and talkies, you know? It's great. We hate feelings. This is the closest conversation I ever had about feelings. It was with my dad. I called him up. I was like, hey dad, uh, your computer's locked. I need your password. Gotta get on the computer. He said, sure. It's I love my son. Right? I was like, wow, that's really sweet. He goes, yeah, because no one ever guessed that. D batteries. Same shit. Same shit. It's horrible. It's great. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me.